Hey everybody, here we are again for another Christmas classic. This time, it's the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street, starring John Payne, Maureen O'Hara, and Edmund Gwen. Now in this movie, Maureen O'Hara plays Doris Walker, a divorced mother who works at Macy's. When she has to fire the drunken Santa for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, she finds a replacement in the form of Chris Kringle, as played by Edmund Gwen, who does well enough that he is hired for the toy department at Macy's. While there, he tries to change things, helping out by sending parents to wherever they need to go to help find the toys their kids are asking for. Now this works out very well for Macy's, and they end up instituting it for more than just the toy department. Of course, the fact that Kris Kringle actually believes he is Santa Claus causes some trouble, which results in him being sent to a mental institution. Now, at his trial, he is represented by Fred Gailey, as played by John Payne, Doris's boyfriend and neighbor, who must prove that Chris is indeed who he says he is. Now, oh, I know it's a favorite thing for some people to complain about how much Christmas stuff is put out in the stores far sooner than it should be, or how some people start decorating a lot sooner, or listening to music, or whatever. But this movie is, in some respects, a very good example of how that problem has been there for a long time, not just in recent years. Because from what I gathered, this movie, which is, a, which is a Christmas classic in its own right, was originally released in theaters in early summer. May or June seems to be what I see listed, give or take. And apparently the head of 20th Century Fox at that time, Daryl F. Zanuck, figured that the movie would do better if it was released during the summer. Now, of course, they tried to minimize the Christmas angle in promoting it, but apparently audiences have enjoyed it enough to keep seeing it, even at that time of the year. Now, I admit, as I get older, I tend to hold a lot of less affection for most of the various Santa Claus movies. However, er, for me, this is the main exception to the rule. For me, Edmund Gwen is Santa Claus. I've Really never liked anybody else anywhere near as much in the role in any of the other Santa Claus movies. Apparently, even the rest of the cast in this movie agreed that he was very well cast in the role. And apparently, actress Natalie Wood, who played Doris's daughter in the movie, didn't even know he wasn't Santa until they finished filming the movie and she saw him out of costume at the rap party. And I certainly find it it's interesting that the parade at the beginning of the movie was actually the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade from 1946, where Edmund Gwen was Santa in the parade. I recommend this movie very highly, and would definitely suggest watching it during the holiday season. Or, if you want to be weird, watch it any time the rest of the year as well. But the movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from 20th Century Fox, and is about 1 hour and 36 minutes in length. Thanks for listening everybody and keep tuning in.